what will our future dinner plate look like? There is an increasing need to make our food production more sustainable. More sustainable for generations to come. The Aquavite project responds to these challenges, working with new ideas by supporting a more sustainable farming of seafood, commonly known as aquaculture. And the Atlantic Ocean offers opportunities. Aquavite means increasing the production of sustainable food, primarily, focusing on specific value chains to create new species, new processes, new products right across the Atlantic. So Europe, Brazil primarily, South Africa, but other countries around the Atlantic as well. From north to south, east to west, 35 partners from four continents work together to unlock further opportunities for sustainable aquaculture. But what does it mean to be sustainable? To be sustainable means finding ways to fulfilling our needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet our own needs. So we work with uh, sustainability analysis and we work with all dimensions of sustainability. So we work with environmental sustainability, but also the economic sustainability and the social sustainability. And this is something that we really need to do because of the expanding population and the challenges that the world are facing. Algae are found at the bottom of the food web. Animals that feed on them are found higher in the web, and animals that feed on other animals are even higher. Algae and animals such as filter-feeding mussels that are at the bottom of the food web are considered low trophic and these are extractive species. They depend on the natural available food in the water. And this is really beneficial because these species, they will extract nutrients from uh, the sea. We need to reduce the use of resources for food production and farming low trophic species can do this. We look at the world, how it's changing with the climate crisis. We need to transform society in a way that we become more sustainable. These lower trophic species are much more sustainable to produce and consume. Our future dinner plate may include food that we are not familiar with today, but that have a great nutritional value. And this is what Aquavit is all about. We look at macroalgae production, we look at production of uh, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, mussels, oysters, everything that is really close still to, to um, the primary production that is um, plant-based. Seaweed is traditionally used particularly in Asian cuisine and can contribute to a balanced diet. They are rich in proteins, vitamin B12, calcium, iron. We can include them in our soups, stews and salads making these dishes healthy and delicious. We should eat more algae. Seaweed is a crucial uh, resource mainly for food uh, in a planet with its growing uh, population. Aquavitae encourages the production of new marine and freshwater products. For example, sea cucumber is a delicacy in Asia, not elsewhere yet. Although sea urchins are a familiar food in some European countries they are virtually unknown as a food source in others. It's a product that a lot of consumers in Europe in particular are not familiar with. So we've done a lot of work in Aquavitae looking at consumer perceptions, what consumers feel they're prepared to pay for, uh, what they think in terms of food safety, food nutrition of these new species. you are more likely to be familiar with shellfish species, such as mussels and oysters. But do you know what the environmental advantages are of growing these species? The production of mussels, oysters and other low trophic species has a lower climate impact compared to many other food production systems. And these organisms also have the potential to enhance water clarity, take up nutrients from the water and increase biodiversity. So this really addresses some of the major challenges that we are facing today, uh, both the biodiversity crisis, the phosphorus crisis and the climate crisis. It is uh, projects like Aquavitae that can help the local governments to understand the, the positive impact that low trophic species may have in the, in the envir environment. 
This is called Ecosystem Services. Low trophic species have some really unique properties. In addition to having positive environmental impacts during production, they also have other benefits. Parts of the animals and algae that are not so used, such as shells and other waste, can become new products like environmentally friendly paint or animal feed. This contributes to the zero waste ambition in food production systems. Um, recycling, um, it's all about um, developing the circular economy. Integrated Multitrophic Aquaculture, otherwise known as IMTA, is a system where different species from different trophic levels are farmed together. The nutrient from one species serve as feed for the other, just like the natural environment. This is what Aquavitae is researching in South Africa. The advantages of growing together sea cucumber and abalone. The sea cucumbers get produced underneath the abalone tanks, removing the solid waste, improving water quality, reducing handling stress so the tanks don't have to be cleaned as frequently. And the value in that is improved production in, in abalone systems. But in addition to that, the sea cucumber have an economic value. The benefit to industry is, is, is potentially massive because you're actually reducing your production costs. In many aquaculture industries, one of the biggest production costs is your feed. And if you are feeding from another trophic level, you're reducing your feed cost. Knowing these benefits, several companies are implementing IMTA systems. Here at Alga Plus, the seaweed is farmed using the concept of integrated multitrophic aquaculture, that basically it's what we call today a circular economy approach. So the residues are transformed and recycled into resources. So what we do, we use the, the nutrient-rich waters coming from the fish that are used to grow the seaweed, so this way we don't need to have any fertilizer. Overall, um, IMTA reduces environmental impact, improves profitability and improves consumer perception. When you farm mussels or shrimps, you are also interested in checking on their welfare. Aquavitae develops protocols and technology like online sensors and underwater cameras that help farmers to improve their production. They can follow, for instance, how well animals are growing. However, current regulations are not updated for these new production systems and technologies, and therefore Aquavitae is helping to improve aquacultural governance. We need to offer the policymakers some recommendations on how to develop our new policies on low traffic aquaculture. There are, we found a lot of demands from the industry in terms of um, uh, the licensing, for instance. It takes too long to get a license because of the uh, complexity of, uh, and the bureaucracy and different administrations. And now we are developing also a policy brief with some recommendations from the European uh, Commission for the Member States and also for the government in Brazil and South Africa. This is crucial for industry development in the Atlantic. Aquavitae is not doing this alone. The project is working together with governments, regulators, industry and consumers. All these benefits, all these advantages, all this new technology need a voice and a place where everybody interested in the topic can find this information. That is why Aquavitae developed a MOOC, a massive open online course on low trophic aquaculture. Low traffic aquaculture is something new and there are no many resources available. We need uh, to have access, uh, open access to different uh, knowledge. So Aquavita wants to guarantee this open access for everyone in an online repository to learn more about low traffic aquaculture. This free online course is taught by academics, researchers and industry. Course participants will discover topics ranging from the biology and farming of different low trophic species to governance, sustainability, business economics and consumer behaviour. Aquavitae does not only need to train students, we also need to educate those that will use these products in the future, such as chefs and consumers. 
Aquavita hosted MasterChef classes and product tasting events, bringing together chefs and catering schools and consumers. This encouraged them to get creative in using these products. Aquavitae is about learning, sharing, collaborating across the Atlantic, applying the motto of the blue economy, a perspective that the project follows since its beginning in 2019. Blue economy for me is a way to use um, marine resources in a sustainable way uh, to reduce the, the environmental impact of food production uh, for the world. We do care about our future, so we must care about what is on our dinner plate. I've researched low trophic species for over 30 years. I'm absolutely convinced that we can produce a lot more seafood uh, to feed the planet uh, from low trophic species in a sustainable way that's good for us and good for the future generations as well.